Workers exposed to cold temperatures are at risk of cold stress, which is a term used to describe any cold-related illness or injury. Hello, my name is Ryan Paparello, Safety and Health Specialist for the Labor's Health and Safety Fund of North America. Cold stress occurs when skin temperature and eventually internal body temperature is driven down more quickly than it can be warmed up. Some common examples of cold stress injuries and illnesses include trench foot, a foot injury caused by prolonged exposure to wet and cold conditions. Frostbite, an injury that occurs when skin is exposed to freezing temperatures. It typically affects extremities like fingers, toes, the nose, and earlobes, and can cause permanent tissue damage. Hypothermia, an illness caused by an extreme drop in body temperature, or below 95 degrees Fahrenheit. This mostly occurs in freezing temperatures, but can also happen in cool temperatures if the person is damp or immersed in cold water. To prevent cold stress on the job, employers should monitor workers' physical conditions for signs of cold stress and schedule breaks in warm, dry areas. Employers should also monitor the weather, try to schedule work during the warmest part of the day, and be prepared to adjust work due to changing conditions. When possible, Use heaters to regulate worksite temperatures, implement the buddy system, and train workers on common signs and symptoms of cold stress. Symptoms include shivering, confusion, slurred speech, slowed heart rate, or breathing and loss of consciousness. Workers should protect themselves by arriving properly just for work in winter conditions. Dress in layers. The first two layers should be wool, silk, or synthetic to keep the moisture away from the body and provide insulation. The outer layer should provide wind and rain protection and allow ventilation to prevent overheating. Avoid tight clothing as it reduces blood circulation to vulnerable extremities like fingers and toes. Wear a hat that covers the ears, insulated gloves, and insulated waterproof boots with good traction. Have disposable hand and toe warmers handy if additional heat is needed for the toes and fingers. And always keep extra clothing in case you get wet or need to change. With proper preparation and training, cold stress can be prevented on the job site. For more information on cold stress and how to stay safe this winter, visit our website at lhsfna.org or contact the fund's OSH division. Thank you and stay safe.